All right, we're back. In our previous coverage, we went over filling out our account details and also basics of profiles and templates. And we started to construct this particular profile here with the euro dollar US dollar chart group and we'll continue with that here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with an hourly chart here you could change the time frame any way you'd like and here's a demonstration of that I'll make this larger so you can see monthly big moves in the month weekly daily four hour hour m30 30 minutes you can see the little tabs up there five and one okay and you can also change it this way if you'd like change the tabs this way okay now what we're setting up here is going to be specifically for the euro dollar US dollar we'll start off here with a one hour time frame we already have the four hour time frame set up we'll move over here to a daily time frame and here to a weekly time frame okay and basically the way we set this up is it's kind of in a top-down trading sense so I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the profile as euro dollar US dollar profile one okay there we go We'll separate that so you can see that out. Okay, that's profile one. Okay. All right. So here we go. Now, I'm going to expand this, and you'll notice that once that's expanded, all of the other ones are large too. Go back down and see them all in one screen. We could actually do that. But what we'll do in this is set up a what I like to call top-down trading setup now top-down trading basically means you start off with a larger time frame and you establish you look to see which direction the trend is in now people can interpret the trend in a lot of different ways flat as through here and we've been moving upward slowly let's see I want to move the daily over here next to the weekly there's a daily we're still in an, still in an uptrend here there's our four hour and we're we've lost some upward momentum here and one hour this is what we're looking like we're kind of just kind of really kind of bouncing around as evidenced here again this is just one way to set up a screen for a particular currency pair that you might want to study now this can be applicable with any of the other currency pairs uh, the you know pound dollar dollar yen etc you can set it up and also if you prefer to trade on a t smaller time frame all these can be changed and you could go five minute there 15 minute there I probably would go 30 but hour there and say four hour there just a matter of personal preference as to what your particular trading methodology dictates you should be doing but again for top-down trading in a larger time frame sense these are some of the parameters and these are some of the ones that uh, we'll be using as far as examples too and a lot of people won't even bother to look at the weekly chart because they feel like it's too 
long term of a time frame in order for them to find useful and as scalpers or day traders now some people look at all the time frames just to keep informed but a lot of times again as we showed you previously the very very short term scalpers are looking to get only a few pips of profit so they in particular are going to look to grab small time frame charts like that for instance and that's basically this is that's the basics of setting up uh, templates and profiles as well uh, if you wanted to insert indicators you can always pop over here I'll show you how you do that it's a couple different ways okay here's one we'll just let's go for one that everyone's familiar with and that's a your moving average you can change a lot of parameters here with an indicator the color the type of line the thickness of that line where it will be applied which type of moving average it is simple exponential smooth or linear weighted the period of the moving average be it 5 15 or 50 or 200 day is often used in the stock market the default is set at 14 uh, the shift which I'll show you that how the shift works and that'll be the actual distance from the chart and that can give you some interesting perspective too alright you can say put it in all time frames if you want to or you can put it in one you know particular uh, time frame only I'll we'll put all time frames not all charts just all time frames that just means that if I change it to hour daily weekly etc then the moving average is still there now for instance I'll show you something else in the template if you had that template in the candlestick template and you call it candle 14 simple moving average one's called SMA like that and you saved it okay then you can go over here as you can see the indicator is also applied now here's one thing to be cautious of when using the power of templates and you can create as many templates as you want uh, and profiles as well which gives you tremendous flexibility you can set up as many types of studies as you want uh, for instance if you you wanted to you find some studies that are working particularly well on the euro dollar US dollar you may say hey listen I'd like to do that on the on the pound then you can do that on the pound so I suggest you go to profiles and you say the profile as great British pound I'm just saving the profile prior to doing anything okay basically this is kind of a new profile name okay so here we go and then I'd go through and I would simply drag this over and there you're done so you've got you know your profiles all set up for your great British pound we go back to this profile and hit euro dollar US dollar there's a euro dollar US dollar in this particular uh, in this particular setup and you may want to call these something different uh, you know great British pound uh, US dollar you may want to call it GBP USD candlesticks or EUR USD candlesticks whichever whichever you prefer whichever you prefer but as you can see there is a ton of flexibility uh, in what you can do as far as creating the profiles and then setting everything up exactly the way you want so as an overview of templates a template can store 
the chart type and color, chart scale, any attached expert advisor and its parameters, and we'll talk about expert advisors uh, a bit later, a any type of technical indicator, and any types of line studies as well, such as trend lines. This is what a trend line will look like. There's a trend line right there, okay, just to show you what that looks like. And that's going to be in the objects list. Two trend lines. You just delete those, and you're back to the normal chart. Okay, here's another way to access profiles. Up here, you see profiles. Just click, go to the drop down menu and it's kind of neat because you can kind of go to the next profile. Let, well say for instance we're up here at the default and you can go right through the next profile and the next one sorry wrong wrong one <laughs> wrong little click there and the next one so you can just hit control F5 I'll show you how that works as well It's kind of cool, huh? So now, if you want to go the other direction, Shift F5. So Control F5, Shift F5, and it moves us back through. All right. So profiles are a great way to store groups of charts. These could all be, you know, different. For instance, they don't have to be the same. Uh, it, again, as as we see here. Or it could be one particular market that you're interested in, one currency pair, and it could be the euro dollar, US dollar. However you want to do it, you can save the profiles and templates. And here's something that I really like about this. Once you save a profile, you save a template, it's there. So you get an opportunity to go back and you know experiment with it. Um, so it means that get into MetaTrader and go in and you can you know you click some buttons and don't worry about losing anything it's it's here it's all set up for you and that's basically the coverage of templates and profiles I wanted to show you this first so that you can have a framework for the other things that we're going to do as we get into looking at indicators and look at actual trading inside of MetaTrader. Thank you so much for looking at this module and look forward to seeing you in the very next module.